This morning, new developments in the Baltimore Bridge collapse, including the recovery of the victims. Plus, a new scam warning why you should wait until you get back from your vacation to post your pictures and videos online. And a chilly start to the morning with temperatures in the 20s, but sunshine should be warming us up a little bit more today. We'll have more coming up. Hey, good Thursday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. You know, we've been talking about the cold the last few days, but Kelly's been showing us that 10-day forecast. There is some hope coming down the pipe, and I'm excited for it. Finally, some warmer weather, Kelly. Yeah, we will we'll be uh, rounding out the month of uh, March. Pretty seasonable, and then some warmer weather next week. But we've got the frosty conditions this morning, so we might need a little extra time, maybe a minute or two, to scrape off the windshield with the uh, frost that has developed. The winds are a lot lighter, allowing for that frost to form this morning. 26 in Madison, also Cottage Grove, 25 in Middleton. 24 currently in Cross Plains. So a chilly start to the morning, but the uh, sunshine will warm us up in the mid 40s. Still a few degrees below our average for this time of the year, but I think we'll actually bounce just above average tomorrow as we get into the lower 50s. That's out ahead of a system that'll bring us some light rain showers. Good news that'll occur while most of us are asleep later Friday night. And we do have a few rain chances. Once again, the best chance uh, over the next few days will be Friday night. Should be out of here for most of the weekend. Then later Sunday, Easter Sunday, especially Sunday night, into early next week. That'll be another opportunity of seeing some rain. And it looks like mainly rain with both these systems coming our way. Meantime, it is chilly this morning. We should be in the upper 30s, though, at the uh, noon hour. Should be tapping out in the mid 40s today, maybe the upper 40s. Winds will be lighter out of the west, about 10 miles per hour later today. A lot of sunshine expected today. Talk more about that rain chance tomorrow and again early next week. More on that coming up. All right, Kelly Slifka, we'll talk to you in a moment. Well, we are two days out now after the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Taking a look here at some new traffic video that shows the container ship approaching the bridge. Uh, it might be hard to see, but you can see the lights here on the bridge as it slowly approaches and eventually collides with that structure. Divers have also recovered two bodies as part of the search and recovery efforts. Four others are still missing and presumed dead this morning. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports now from New York. New traffic video from the Maryland Department of Transportation shows the massive cargo ship approaching the Francis Scott Key Bridge moments before it crashed into the span. The National Transportation Safety Board also released video of what's left. Sections of the bridge bent and crumpled around the front of the ship. Our mission is to determine why something happened, how it happened, and to prevent it from reoccurring. Again, to save lives. The NTSB says there were 21 crew and two pilots on board the ship when it rammed into the bridge. It was transporting 56 containers of hazardous materials, and according to the NTSB, some of those containers were breached. Authorities say they have seen a sheen on the water, indicating chemical leaks. Officials have started identifying the six victims, all construction workers. 40-year-old Miguel Luna had three children and was originally from El Salvador. 34-year-old Maynor Yusir Suazo Sandoval had two kids and was from Honduras. We know that they were hard workers. We know that they love soccer. We know that they love you know, their families and the community. All wreckage from the crash must be cleared before the Port of Baltimore can reopen to ships. The Navy is bringing in barges equipped with cranes to help. Logistics experts say it's possible prices could rise if the global supply chain is disrupted. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. Cargo ships are now being redirected to other ports along the East Coast. The Port of Baltimore handles more vehicle imports and exports than any other port in the U.S. The NTSB says their investigation into the collapse could take up to two years. The tragic collapse is renewing focus on infrastructure-related concerns nationwide. That includes northeast Wisconsin, where the Great Lakes shipping season started last week. More than 200 ships go through the port of Green Bay every year while transporting 2 million tons of cargo. The narrowing Fox River shipping channel can pose a challenge for some captains. Port of Green Bay officials say safety procedures are set in case of an accident with the goal of being to prevent a crash from turning into something catastrophic. On the waterway side, uh, the, the bridges are well lit. There are uh, kingpin pile structures in that that are protecting the approaches of the, the bridges to reduce the chance of any type of a, a collision hitting the physical structure of the, of the bridge. 
In 2017, a cargo ship struck the Green Bay City deck while trying to get through the Main Street Bridge. No injuries were reported in that accident. 604 now to our continuing coverage of the trial against DCI agent Mark Wagner. This was the scene here in the courtroom when the verdict was announced that the jury found Wagner not guilty of recklessly endangering the public. Wagner faced trial after shooting Quadron Wilson back in 2022. The incident happened during an attempt to arrest him for drug related crimes. Wagner was in the courtroom as you could see as the verdict was being read while Wilson heard the result over the phone. We'll have more details on those key arguments for both sides coming up in our next half hour. Now to a warning from the Dane County Sheriff's Office. They say scammers are now using AI to trick people into giving them money. This is an evolution of the classic grandparent scam, you know, where one of the scammers tries to convince people that their grandchild is in trouble. Now scammers are taking videos from social media and putting them through AI programs to create a recording using the person's actual voice. Thankfully, there are some ways to keep yourself and your family safe, especially when it comes to what you post. Recommendation, for lack of a better term, is don't post those vacation videos and photos until after you get back. Um, show everybody what a good time you had when you get home. The Sheriff's Office also recommends strengthening your security settings so only people you know can access those videos. And if you receive one of those calls, hang up and call that relative and question and check and see if they're okay. Well, the city of Madison is planning now for future growth in housing needs. But the draft of its new West Area Plan is causing some confusion and fear among some of its West Side residents. It calls for rezoning for properties across the West Side to allow more mixed-use development and more housing located around the new bus rapid transit system. But some residents fear it will encourage developers to put pressure on the owners of apartment buildings to sell or pressure the community to turn the buildings over. Others say the proposals in the plan just don't do enough. With the experience of the buildings that are going up around town right now, I don't believe the some of the recommendations in this plan are going to keep this neighborhood affordable. I think what I'm hearing from the other side, from people saying that the, this area plan doesn't go go far enough. You know, it's making these kind of you know, little changes here and there, and it's, it's you know the, the, some of the changes that they're making are. are are not going to get the kind of uh, density that the, the city needs. Officials with the planning department say the west side and northeast side are just the first areas that come up in this process where they're looking at ways to be flexible with land if property owners want to sell in the future. They say proactive rezoning will help streamline that. It doesn't force people to sell their homes. It doesn't force a private landowner to sell their pool. It doesn't force a church to leave town. It, it's just the city taking a look at the opportunities that are there and looking for flexibility to add housing where we can because there is such a desperate need that the city recognizes and that's what we're trying to address. After the spike in public interest, the planning department has allowed comments on the plan to be submitted online indefinitely. We have a link to that and the full draft plan up on channel3000.com. Meantime, the city of Middleton has launched a new housing survey available to all residents. It wants feedback to upgrade the city's living experience. The survey will examine aspects of housing throughout the city, including apartment living, housing costs, population size, and traffic impact. Mayor Emily Kuhn says the city needs more affordable homes, something that she's made a focus during her first year as mayor. A homeowner herself, Kuhn says the current cost of what's considered an affordable home is now up to half a million dollars. We'll tell you that my house has increased in value 50% since 2016 when we moved here, and I would be priced out now. So that's a hard market to be in. And for that, what we call an affordable house in Middleton is uh, 400 to 500,000. That's not a starter home. And we know that. We want to do better. If you live in Middleton and you'd like your uh, voice heard, visit channel3000.com. We have a link to that survey in our web story. Also in Middleton, a brand new Land's End opens today. The new store is at 1651 Deming Way, which is part of a shopping center in that area. Land's End says the store will offer the clothing brand's newest products, as well as rebranded logo and a more modern interior design. The grand opening begins this morning at 9 a.m., where CEO Andrew McLean will lead a ribbon cutting ceremony. Customers can enter a raffle to win a Land's End gift card or enjoy some free coffee. Oh, there you go. All right. Wow. That's 
Big news. Land's End, new Land's End, open or not. Uh, 6.09 now, let's check in with Kelly Slipkin. What's coming up in your forecast? Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It is a chilly start to the morning with clear skies, but it should be a little bit milder, a little bit more bearable to be outside today. We'll talk more about some rain in our forecast as well. The first warm forecast just ahead. Also ahead, Badger women's hoops in the Super 16 of the WNIT. We're going to hear from the head coach about how the team's feeling. Coming up in your morning sports. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Right now, you can get 3.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Camry, RAV4, or Tundra Hybrid. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. There's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99. Plus, advanced Wi-Fi and one Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Start saving today. Visit Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, or scan to call now. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. Get an 11% rebate on everything from ceiling to floor at Menards. Find your style with over 350 in stock Patriot Lighting interior lights. This Dylan 2 pack flush mount comes in three sizes and four finishes. Just $19.97 after rebate. Step into luxury without breaking the bank with Menards' huge selection of carpet. Intuitive plush carpet adds comfort and warmth and is budget friendly at 79 cents per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. More than uh, a, lot, a lot of people are spending for Easter coming up on Sunday. Uh, people are expected to spend more than $22 billion this year for the holiday. That's according to the National Retail Federation. People celebrating are predicted to spend an average of $177 a person. Food is expected to be the highest spending category, followed by clothing and gifts. Rising price of eggs are contributing to the high cost associated with the holiday. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says the average cost of a dozen eggs right now jumped 47 cents between January and February. Good to know. All right, Kelly, Sliff is outside with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It is a, a chilly start to the morning. We've got some frost uh, as well that has developed because of the clear skies and the uh, fairly light winds. At least it's not as breezy as yesterday. 
All in all, it should be a pretty decent day. Definitely better than yesterday, not as windy. Mid 40s, still not quite where we should be this time of the year. And it will be chilly again tonight, down to the uh, 20. So you will need that winter jacket, at least in the early next week. We're talking about uh, some cooler than average temperatures. Uh, looks like by Friday night, we are talking about some rain showers that'll be spreading into the area. So we've got high pressure and control over weather. That's keeping us quiet. We've actually had a few snow showers down to the south as some colder air is working in from uh, Canada and the high pressure should give us a lot of sunshine but we've been right on the edge of this uh, really cold air that's been locked up into Canada we're getting a taste of that to yesterday and also today but it looks like it will get milder as we go into the weekend getting a little bit closer to where we should be which is near 50 looks like by early next week we'll have another shot of some colder air but that looks like the last shot. Then we are expecting finally what we've been waiting for is some much milder weather toward the end of next week. And we could be talking about temperatures well in the 60s, maybe close to 70. Right now, the winds are calm. Definitely not as much of a factor uh, this morning. And they should be out of the west about 10 miles per hour as temperatures climb out of the 20s. 30s this morning should be in the mid 40s later today. Our average high now is closer to 50. So a chilly start to our morning. A few clouds uh, passing down to the south from Monroe to Janesville this morning. Otherwise, most of us will see quite a bit of sunshine today as we head into the mid 40s. But we will cool off quickly this evening as temperatures fall uh, below freezing by 10 o'clock. We'll be in the uh, 20s again, waking up tomorrow morning with light winds. All right, uh, on Friday, the daylight hours should be dry. It won't be until we get into a uh, Friday night toward midnight as some rain showers spread in. Uh, this will be with us through the nighttime hours, but should be out of here by the time you're waking up Saturday morning. Some clouds will linger in the morning, then I expect some sun in the afternoon. 26 right now in Madison, 25. The Dells, uh, Watertown, 24. Janesville, 27. Platteville at 26, so a chilly start to the morning. Do have some frost that's been forming. Uh, 26 in Sun Prairie, 27 in Cottage Grove, and 28 currently in Belleville. All right, our first warm forecast, 45 today with the uh, sunshine, so a little bit milder than yesterday. We're back in the 20s tonight. 52 tomorrow with the clouds moving on in with that rain chance of developing toward midnight. Should be out of here by Saturday. Sunday does bring in more cloud cover. Can't rule out a shower later in the day for Easter Sunday. There's that cooler weather that arrives next week along with that some rain chances. Then we warm back in the 50s and I think those uh, 60s might be a little bit undercutting it. We could be closer to 70 by the end of next week into next weekend. For the first time since March 26th of 2011, the Badger women's basketball team is hosting a WNIT game. Wisconsin will take on Illinois State tonight in the Super 16 round, and this experience is new for the team. Remember, none of the Badgers on the team have played postseason basketball before, so with the stakes high, win or your season is over, this group is just happy to have another day of hoops with each other. There's um, uh, an excitement, uh, there's a joy with being able to still um, be part of a select few that are still playing at this time of year. And like I think that they're really soaking up the additional time with this group. And we often say like, um, you're never gonna get an opportunity to play with this group of people ever again. And so I think they've really embraced that and are, are um, trying to you know stay in the moment as much as possible. After a runner-up finish in the national championship game, Jane Gervais has decided to enter the transfer portal. The Badger netminer started 18 games for Wisconsin, going 15-3, and where she posted six shutouts and a save percentage of .921. Gervais will have one year of eligibility left. The NFL draft is less than a month away, and there's one guy who's been steadily catching the eye of teams since nearly his first step on campus. Platteville's Justin Blazik, the two-time All-American, prides himself on hard work. He has a motor that doesn't quit, and with a chance to live out a childhood dream and play in the NFL, it's a surreal feeling to see all that work about to pay off. You're always working towards it, but to see it really come to fruition is, is a whole different thing. So all the hard work, all the dedication that I've put into this game, it's, it's starting to pay off, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. I've honestly been trying not to think about it, because. You, you work a lot harder when you don't know what's going to happen. So if, if, that, if I were to get my name called or I were to get that phone call, you know, it would be an absolute childhood dream come true. Two days after entering the transfer portal, Dean Hamity has found a new home. The two-time All-American is headed to Oklahoma State for what he called his next chapter chasing titles. In his three years at Wisconsin, Hamity went 81 and 14 with two sixth place finishes in the NCAA tournament and a Big Ten title. And 
Today's opening day for the Brew Crew, well, has been postponed because of rain in the forecast in Queens, New York. So instead of baseball on this afternoon, the Brewers and Mets are going to play on Friday. First pitch for the season opener is set for 1240. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Thanks, Zach. Okay, a heads up here. The men's NCAA tournament continues this week on CBS. So starting tonight at 6.09. Uh, you'll have Clemson in Arizona, followed by Alabama in North Carolina. And then Friday at 6.09, the Marquette Golden Eagles take on NC State, followed by Duke versus Houston. Meanwhile, News 3 Now at 6 will air at 5.30, right after News 3 Now at 5. News 3 Now at 10 will air after the end of the second games on both Thursday and Friday. So keep that in mind for tonight and for tomorrow night. Feel good about your Golden Eagles? I feel very good. I'm a nervous wreck deep inside, <laughs> but I'm excited to be watching uh, the team in the Sweet 16. Looking right. forward to it tomorrow. We'll see how they do. Yeah. Coming up next, an uncertain future for a beloved voice in sports. In our next half hour, some new legislation in the state aiming to protect judges from threats to their safety. And as we had to break, a look at gas prices this morning across Wisconsin and across the country. We're back after this. Charlotte Deleste, News 3 Now at 4, 6, and 10, moving forward. Take up to a bonus 10% off furniture with any mattress purchase over $4.99. The Easter weekend beat the clock sale is Friday, Saturday, and Monday only at Ashley. Save up to $600 instantly on Beautyrest Black, plus special financing for 60 months only at Ashley. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. We really need to redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait until I get... Ah, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSON's because our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant roofing is guaranteed for life. Get 60% off installation or no interest and no payments for two full years. Call 1-800-HANSON's. Get it done. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here, and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Copas and treats you decent, you know, all the years I worked here. It's a great place to work. the Bucks on broadcast TV when they square off with the Pelicans on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch Giannis and the Bucks fly into NOLA to zap Zion and the soaring Pelicans. It's Dame time in the Big Easy. Bucks, Pelicans on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Tonight at 7 on Television Wisconsin. Hop on over to Ashley for the Easter Weekend Beat the Clock sale. We're closed Easter Sunday, but shop Friday, Saturday, and Monday for big savings on our top looks store-wide. Plus, special financing for 60 months. And bonus discounts up to an extra 10% off our sale prices, only at Ashley. Uh, we're back sharing Linda's morning. Another colorful sky she has sent us, so we appreciate that. A gorgeous photo, Linda. Yeah, I keep it keeps giving me, like, cotton candy meets... Sherbert, something I want to yeah. take a bite out of. <laughs> right, like something that my kids would ask for if we're looking at ice cream flavors. Yeah, sure. That's beautiful. Thanks, Linda. Good stuff. 
All right, Shane, what are we talking about today? Well, the baseball season is just getting underway. Today is opening day, one of my favorite days of the year, but we will have to wait one day for the Brewers yeah. because their first game is already rained out. Opening day at American Family Field is next Tuesday. Josh and I will be live in Milwaukee all morning, but we're also talking about Brewers legend Bob Euchre. That's because the Brewers' famed radio announcer is entering his 54th year, but his future behind the mic is quite uncertain now. The Brewers released a statement saying Euchre is set to call the Brewers' opening day game, which is now tomorrow, but the statement adds that he will, quote, take it one day at a time after that. Bob Euchre is 90 years old and was has limited his work to just home games for the last several years, hasn't gone on the road with the team, but still, one of the most iconic just figures in sports, not just baseball, not just in Wisconsin or Milwaukee. I mean, this right. guy, he's beloved by pretty much anyone around the game. He's a living legend with all the stories, yeah. you know, surrounding his, his health. His, he's cheated death multiple times, open heart surgeries, bouts with cancer. Uh, it seems like the guy is immortal. We think he's going to live forever, but eventually it will be time for him to hang it up. So how about we take this season and cherish every moment we get exactly. with Bob Euchre? Don't want to take it for granted. Want to really relish in just how legendary he is. So uh, good luck to him and, and the team as they get ready to start another season. Yeah. And uh, hard to believe that baseball season's already here. Looking forward to Tuesday, too. We're going to have a lot of fun yep. in Milwaukee. All right. Hey, Kelly, what's coming up? Yeah, it's a chilly start to the morning. Make sure you're uh, bundled up, need that winter jacket. It should be a little bit warmer this afternoon with the uh, sunshine. Temperatures, though, starting out in the 20s. Probably have to scrape the uh, windshield with some of that frost that's developed. A little bit milder tomorrow, above average, 52. As some rain moves in Friday night, that should be out of here by Saturday and Sunday with temperatures near 50. We're back after this. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $269 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Hansen's knows what your home means to you. It's where you feel safe, comfortable, protected. And of course, no other place provides you with as much joy. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are all backed by our guarantee. So you can feel happy in your home for years to come. With professional installation and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding homeowners' expectations for over 30 years. Get 60% off installation with high-quality craftsmanship you can count on. Or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. From windows to roofing to siding to gutters to bathtubs and showers, no one's got you covered like we do. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. 
We forge steel bars that hold up bridges, propel ships, and send rockets into space. But for years, China's been lowballing their prices, so it's been tough to compete. We can't let China steal Wisconsin jobs, so I wrote a law to require American infrastructure projects use American iron and steel. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Tammy Baldwin has our back. Right now, a verdict in the Mark Wagner trial will have reaction from the courtroom. Plus, investing in our students' mental health, who's most at risk, and which school districts in our area are getting some new support. And it is a frosty start to our Thursday morning with clear skies, temperatures in the 20s, but it should be a little bit milder today. The first morning forecast coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us on a Thursday. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for tuning in. I don't know about everybody else. I am ready for some spring weather. Yeah, absolutely. We got teased a little bit a couple weeks ago. We did, yeah. Then we got some snow. Now we're waking up and it's in the teens and 20s. Kelly, when's it going to warm up for us? <laughs> I think we have to be patient. You know, this is All Wisconsin. Right. Sometimes getting that spring in here and getting it firmly in here takes a little bit of time. But it looks like by next week, later next week, we will see definitely some spring-like temperatures. 26 right now in Madison. 25 in Middleton. Stoughton, 26 as well. Probably have to scrape the windshield uh, with the uh, frosty conditions. But it should be a bit warmer this afternoon and not as windy. So it should all in all should be a pretty nice Thursday. And that will be in the low 50s tomorrow. So that will be a little bit closer to our average. We are looking at some light rain showers to develop, mainly during the nighttime hours Friday night. Meantime, we are looking at below average temperatures generally. Uh, well, today we should be in the lower 50s going into the weekend. Another cool shot, it looks like early next week before the much milder weather uh, appears. It looks like later next week going in next week, and some of those temperatures might be undercutting what may actually happen. All right, temperatures in the 20s this morning, a few clouds down in the south early this morning should be into the low to mid 40s most of the afternoon hours. So still running a little bit below our average, but uh, at least it's warmer than yesterday when we were stuck in the 30s. We'll be in the 30s this morning before those 40s return this afternoon. It won't be as windy as yesterday. We'll talk more about that rain chance coming our way Friday night coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. We have an important update now this morning on the shooting near State Street from last weekend. Police are asking for your help this morning finding two suspects. Take a look at your screen. Right now, arrest warrants are out for 39-year-old Kevin Brown and Nicole Brown. Uh, Kevin Brown is out of state. Uh, he's a felon from out of state. He's wanted for attempted murder. MPD is also looking for 39-year-old Nicole Brown. She's charged with harboring or aiding a felon. This is all related to the shooting of a person at 3 a.m. on Sunday. Police say the shooting was a targeted act of violence. The victim received some treatment for their injuries at a local hospital. Police say they'll survive. MPD's investigative crimes unit is still looking into the matter. If you have any information, though, about the shooting or the suspects, call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at 608-266-6014. You can also log on to p3tips.com and submit a tip that way. Now to continuing coverage of the Mark Wagner trial. A jury has found the DCI agent not guilty of recklessly endangering the public for the arrest turned shooting of Quajan Wilson back in 2022. Wilson, an unarmed black man, was on the phone with the judge at the time that the verdict was read. Our Braden Ross has more on how this case unfolded. Hello. Hi, is this Mr. Wilson? This is. Hi, it's Judge Genovese. I'm calling from the courtroom. 40-year-old Quadrin Wilson listened on a phone call Wednesday afternoon as the officer who shot him two years ago was found not guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark Wagner, not guilty. The verdict came down after less than two hours of jury deliberation and more than a week of testimony. During the trial, both Wagner and Wilson took the stand to talk about this moment, a shooting during a high-risk traffic stop on Madison's east side in February 2022. I heard somebody scream, gun, he got a gun, yes. And you said, no, I don't. I screamed no, and I dove towards the passenger side. And then... You heard 15 to 20 different shots. Man, it, it felt like a thousand shots, to be honest with you. Wagner shot Wilson, who was wanted on drug-related charges during the stop. Wagner, a veteran officer with the Wisconsin Department of Criminal Investigation, was later charged with second-degree recklessly endangering safety stemming from the incident. Dane County District Attorney Ismail Ozan argued that because Wilson was unarmed at the time of the shooting, Wagner had no reason to fire his weapon. But there must be articulable facts to justify any use of force. Attorneys for Wagner say at the time of the stop, he had reason to believe Wilson did have a gun and that Wagner 
Wagner shot only after he thought Wilson had fired first. I knew Quadrant's history, and I was scared that he would start shooting. No firearms were recovered from Wilson that day. In the end, the jury sided with Wagner, finding him not guilty of recklessly endangering safety. He left the courtroom to a round of applause. That was our Braden Ross reporting. This doesn't spell the end for Wagner, however. Wilson could still choose to pursue civil action against him for that shooting. In Northern Illinois, police are trying to understand why a man went on a stabbing rampage. Four people are dead, seven more are injured. Police say the suspect attacked several people at different locations yesterday afternoon in the same neighborhood. The Rockford mayor talked about how everyone's feeling after it happened. I think like most Rockfordians, just totally shaken by uh, this act of violence and the impact that it's having now on multiple families' lives. One of the victims who survived is in critical condition this morning. Authorities have yet to identify the victims or their alleged attacker. Wisconsin's taking action to combat sexual violence. Governor Tony Evers signing off on multiple pieces of legislation yesterday. That includes giving $10 million to services that support crime victims, including sexual assault and domestic abuse. Another bill increases the penalty for people found with child pornography. That crime is now punishable with up to 25 years behind bars and a $100,000 fine. Another bill from the governor creates a human trafficking council at the State Department of Justice. The council will collect and maintain information about human trafficking and it will use the data to create a plan to try and prevent future crimes. That includes expanding training to identify trafficking, which the governor calls a critical tool to intervene and prevent crimes. The council will begin its work in July of 2025. The state's also taking action to protect judges. A new law making it a crime to picket, parade, or demonstrate at or near a judge's home. That's if the intention is to influence the work as a judge. Another gives privacy protections to judges, keeping their personal information and that of their families private. The lawmakers introduced the package of legislation after the killing of a Wisconsin judge in 2022. The alleged killer shot retired judge John Raymer and himself in the judge's new Lisbon home. Raymer had sentenced the man to prison years earlier. Conservative Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Annette Ziegler praised the new laws, saying that they're a much needed step in the right direction to provide safety and security to our judicial officers. UW-Madison is getting nearly a million dollars in federal funds for work regarding PFAS, also known as forever chemicals. PFAS are known to cause serious health issues like cancer. Congressman Mark Pocan announced the news yesterday. The research that's happening here is really instrumental and um, the fact that we're able to get an earmark of $963,000 uh, towards uh, this uh, new equipment and towards the research uh, is just something that we're really happy to be able to announce. That money will go toward updating the PFAS Research Lab's equipment for testing the chemicals in water. Pocan says the university's research is instrumental in getting rid of forever chemicals and keeping people healthy along the way. That money comes from bipartisan legislation that President Biden signed earlier this month. Two bills, including one signed just days ago, will give the university more than $56 million. That will go towards research initiatives like the PFAS lab equipment upgrades. Those bills will keep the federal government funded through September 30th after lawmakers took months to agree on what to include before passing them. Madison schools are about to get hundreds of thousands of dollars for students' mental health. The Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction has set aside nearly $12 million for the entire state. 400000 of that will go toward the Madison Metro School District. The Middleton Cross Plains School District will get 350000 The money is from the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act signed by President Biden in 2022. This comes as rates of anxiety and depression among Wisconsin students are increasing. Those rates are highest among teenage girls, students of color, and LGBTQ students. State Superintendent Jill Underly says the DPI is grateful for the federal funds, but that state government can and should be doing more to meet kids' needs. To campaign 2024 now, a new poll shows how Wisconsinites are feeling about the upcoming presidential election. The Bloomberg Morning Consult poll shows we care most about the economy. 32% of people listed that as their top issue. 18% said immigration, 10% said democracy, and 9% said abortion was their top issue. You'll remember abortion was a big factor in the last state Supreme Court race. When it comes to the economy, there continues to be differing views on how people feel about the nation's economy compared to their hometowns. 
67% said the nation's economy is on the wrong track, but 57% believe their local economy is moving in the right direction. In a head-to-head -head race, President Biden and former President Donald Trump are nearly neck and neck with Biden leading 46 to 45. If you add in Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on the ticket, the independent gets 10% of the vote and shifts the race a few points as well with Trump up to 41%, Biden down to 39%, and again, Kennedy at 10. The poll has a margin of error of four points. And this time, just four years ago, Wisconsin polls showed something very similar with Biden and Trump neck and neck. 639 coming up after the break. We're sharing some useful tools that scientists say could help you stay on your feet. And it is a frosty start to the morning with clear skies. Should be a little bit milder today. We are tracking some rain chances tomorrow night. We'll have the first morning forecast coming up. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bergstrom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bergstrom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. BMO. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty Matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Hansen's knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed. With over 30 years experience and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 60% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. Boom. Chocolate milk. I'll take the chocolate milk. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, weeknights. News 3 Now, first warm weather is taking you beyond the barometer. Email your weather-related questions to firstwarn at wisctv.com and our team of meteorologists will give you the answers on News 3 Now, live at 4. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Back at 643, we've got some helpful tools for our older Wisconsinites to stay healthy this morning. Researchers say they found some successful interventions to keep older adults on their feet. The Kaiser Permanente study gave participants a standing desk, an activity tracker, and 10 health, coaches, uh, health coaching sessions over the course of six months. The study found that the tools led to people sitting 30 minutes less a day and improved their blood pressure. Now, we all know a good night's sleep makes us feel good, but a new study also shows that a lack of shut-eye can actually make you feel older. Researchers say not getting enough sleep could make you feel five to ten years older. That's it? <sighs> Feels like more <laughs> than that for me, I gotta say. They conducted their study with a group of people aged 18 to 70 years old. 
they were allowed no more than four hours of sleep. Hopefully they got paid well. On average, they felt nearly four and a half years older than what they really were. I can relate to that. It's like they're working an early morning shift like us. <laughs> Welcome. Well, the uh, Social Security Administration is making some changes to its supplemental security income regulations. The agency will no longer include food in its ISM calculations. That means participants, or recipients rather, don't have to provide receipts of informal food assistance from their loved ones on their applications. The agency says the change will increase accuracy of how much people need and get people their ISM faster. The new rule goes into effect September 30th this year. All right, it's a quarter to seven on your Thursday morning. Kelly Sliff gets here with your first warm weather. A little chilly out there still? Yeah, it is uh, chilly. In fact, it's even feeling a little bit colder than it was uh, last half hour. But uh, we've got the uh, clear skies right now, frosty conditions this morning. Temperatures in the uh, 20s, so probably going to have to scrape that windshield. Now, we don't have snow on the ground. Well, I tell you what, they got walled across parts of Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin. In fact, as you get up well, northwest of Eau Claire, still about a foot of snow on the ground, and then a foot to a foot and a half from the uh, Twin Cities and western parts of the, uh, Minnesota. Around here, thankfully, no snow. We do have some frost, though, and this was from last week. Thanks, Kim, for sending this in of uh, the uh, sun coming up and some of the frost on the ground. Probably going to have to scrape the uh, windshield with some frost this morning because we're in the 20s. Should be a little bit milder today. Maybe not quite where we should be. We should be in the lower 50, or upper 40s and low 50s this time of the year. We'll have to wait till tomorrow to get there. But it's going to be another chilly night tonight with 20s expected. Friday night, we do have some rain showers that will be spreading in. High pressure in control over weather. It came down from Canada, brought the cold air with it. We've actually had some snow showers just south of the border from Rockford into the southern suburbs of Chicago this morning. May see some of those clouds south of Madison this morning, but otherwise we should see quite a bit of sunshine. Mid 40s, our average high now is 49. The sun up here shortly at 645. No seeing the low tonight down to 26, so another freeze expected. All right, calm winds right now in Madison, and the winds will be a lot lighter than they've been. And then we are talking about some warmer than average temperatures. It looks like later next week going into the following weekend. In between there, we're going to be flirting with average temperatures, but maybe a little bit below at times. And we're going to be below average this uh, afternoon. Readings rising through the uh, 30s. Should be tapping out in the low to mid 40s. Most areas may get in the upper 40s, uh, closer toward the Illinois border. A lot of sunshine today. All in all, not a bad Thursday. Another chilly night tonight. Temperatures here dropping back into the 20s by tomorrow morning. On Friday, we were looking at dry conditions. It won't be until we get closer to midnight as some uh, moisture comes in from the south, spreading rain across southern Wisconsin. It's not going to last real long. should be out of here by the time you're waking up Saturday morning. 26 right now in Madison, 24 in Watertown, Janesville 27, 23 in Lone Rock, and also Mineral Point. So it is a frosty start to the morning. Right now, Middleton down to 23, while it's 27 in Oregon, Stoughton at 27. Really can feel that frosty air this morning with those light winds. 45 expected today. All in all, a pretty nice Thursday for us. 52 tomorrow. Clouds will increase, and that will bring us that chance of rain mainly after midnight. Should be tapering off by Saturday morning, getting into some sunshine, low 50s this weekend. Another system may produce a shower later in the day on Easter Sunday. Better chance of Sunday night into Monday as we cool back down. But there's that warmer weather headed away later next week into the following weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, some tough news for beloved Quick Trip fans. They say it will stop selling bagged milk. It was one of the store's unique products for the last 40 years. But soon the company says it will stop selling its nature's touch bags of milk across all of its locations. Quick Trip cited customer purchasing preferences in its decision. They'll get rid of the product in May. So if you still want another bag of milk, you got a few weeks was, to do that so. That was like Quick Trip's thing. Yeah, a staple, For the longest huh? time. Like, everybody, if you didn't do it, you went to somebody's house and they had Quick Trip bag milk. I've never had one, but I've got a reason to stop in at a Quick Trip. Yeah, we'll, May. we'll see how they do. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring it back at times, like for a limited time only. Like the McRib. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Love it. All right. Hey, scientists say the majority of the world's wine growing regions may have to close up shop by the end of the century. Climate change has made growing grapes suitable uh, for wine even harder. More droughts, heat waves. It's all putting 90% of traditional wine regions at risk. Some scientists say that those conditions could make grape production impossible. The impacted regions include the big ones here. Spain, Italy, Greece, and even Southern California. No bagged wine, no uh, <laughs> bagged wine, bagged milk and wine. We can't have nice things anymore. Your wine coming bags.
But Ray, I guess. <laughs> slap the bag. You ever yeah. heard of that? Did we get more bad news here? No, no. We've got good news now because it's a big weekend for Beyonce fans. Her new country album, Cowboy Carter, is coming out. Beyonce made a post on Instagram yesterday with 27 phrases on it. Those appear to be the song titles on the album. Two of them have already been released as singles. That's Texas Hold'em. I'm sure you've all heard that one. Even Chris here next to me. And 16 <laughs> Carriages, that's the other single. Now, we don't know if any of the names in the post, uh, Willie Nelson or Dolly Parton, mean that they'll get features or duets, but Parton has already said she thinks Beyonce's recorded a cover of the iconic hit Jolene. Oh, man, I can't wait to hear that. Cowboy Carter will be out tomorrow. Looking forward to it. I can't say I've uh, I've heard a sampling of the new Beyonce. I think you've you I'm sure your kids have. All right, you'll have to play it for me okay. during the break. Sounds good. Hey, we'll have today's top headlines coming up next in the morning sprint. But first, if you have a little kid turning three soon, please let us know so we can show their picture here on News 3 Now this morning. We're back after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. As the seasons change, it's so refreshing. And at Madison Lighting, they're following the trends in lighting and home decor. Their lighting experts help me bring my style to light. A fresh start with lighting for indoors and out at Madison Lighting. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figaro is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. Imprint for certain. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Catch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they square off with the Pelicans on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch Giannis and the Bucks fly into NOLA to zap Zion and the soaring Pelicans. It's Dame time in the Big Easy. Bucks, Pelicans, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Tonight at 7 on Television Wisconsin. Bucks, Pelicans, tonight at 7. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. A jury has found the DCI agent charged for his role in the shooting of Quadron Wilson not guilty. The DA charged Mark Wagner with recklessly endangering the public when he shot Wilson back in 2022. Wagner was one of more than 20 officers trying to arrest Wilson on drug-related charges. Wilson did not have a gun or any other weapon on him that day. Wilson could still pursue civil action against Wagner. Arrest warrants are out this morning for suspects in Sunday morning shooting near State Street. 
They are looking for two 39-year-olds, Kevin and Nicole Brown. Kevin Brown is charged with shooting a man. Nicole Brown is charged with aiding and harboring a felon. If you see either of them, call police. Divers are continuing to look for bodies of construction workers presumed dead after the Baltimore Bridge collapsed. All of the victims were immigrants from El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico. Divers have already recovered two men. They were 40-year-old Miguel Luna, a father of three from El Salvador, and 34-year-old Menor Yasir Suazo Sandoval, a father of two from Honduras. In Illinois, four people are dead, seven more injured after what police are calling a stabbing rampage. It happened yesterday afternoon in a residential neighborhood in Rockford. The suspect is in custody, but yet to be identified. We know one of the people hurt is still in critical condition. No word yet on a motive. The Brewers opening day game against the New York Mets will not be happening today. They were supposed to face off in Queens this afternoon as part of the first full slate of Major League games this year. But the game is being pushed back to tomorrow due to some wet weather out in New York. The game will now start at 1.40 tomorrow afternoon. Washington is remembering former U.S. Senator and Vice Presidential Candidate Joe Lieberman. A statement from his family says that Lieberman suffered complications from a fall. The Connecticut native was elected to his home state Senate in 1970, and he went on to be Al Gore's running mate in the 2000 presidential election. Lieberman was 82. The attack at Moscow's concert hall last week has claimed another life. The number of people dead now stands at 140 after one of the victims died at the hospital yesterday. About 80 people remain in the hospital. It was the deadliest terrorist attack on Russian soil in years. Donald Trump endorsing a patriotic Bible for $60. That's in partnership with country music star Lee Greenwood. Trump's not selling the God Bless the USA Bible, but he is getting royalties. The website says the Bible sales aren't affiliated with any political campaign. Trump is encouraging people to buy the Bible and social media posts to Truth Social. All right, five minutes away from 7 o'clock, a chilly start to the morning. We're in the 20s, even some teens across northern parts of the state. And this can be a cool morning, but we should see a lot of sunshine today. It should be in the upper 30s at the noon hour, mid-40s today, so a little bit milder than where we were yesterday. The winds are a lot lighter. A lot of sunshine today, mid-40s, not a bad Thursday for us. Tomorrow, even warmer, 52 with clouds moving on in. Along with that, we'll have a chance of some rain showers developing toward midnight. Generally dry this weekend, maybe a shower Sunday, Sunday night. Finally back to 60s next week. Yeah, finally, maybe some spring-like weather. All right, more news and weather coming up in 30 minutes.